What up, y'all? If you watching this, Brad is taking us to his people's house. Let me clean this camera for a uh, melanin challenge Christmas. So what I am expecting is non-season no, Norwegian. Norwegian. So we're trying to be politically correct around here. So if you've ever watched any type of Christmas special, I'm expecting some type of weird shit. Anything with raisins in it that's not supposed to have raisins in it. Uh, unseasoned beef and chickens. Um, I, I hope Brad is wrong because his side of the, the we spectrum. We didn't give him the kumla, we only gave him the lapsa. So whoever you guys from Norway, real Norwegian, if you know what the lapsa is, just comment below and tell him how much good he's going to have it. Alright, I just want to complain about the motherfuckers who put the stickers or the, the lines on the freeway. This is a perfect example of why couldn't you put the lines like a foot over? You can see where the line is right here, and it's like catching the road of your tire. Like literally, they'll make the freeway, and they'll put the line one foot over, so it catches your tire, and you're like on a roll roll coaster. Why can't they just make that paint like right on the line? So they, look, look, see the lane? Look, this perfect example. They want to cut it, and look where the line is. If they just move the line 12 inches over, you'd be over here, like in the crown, and your shit would be like. Rah, 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 rah. So I hope, I, I hope to uh, Jesus, whatever nationality he may be or color or range of skin, that this food is delicious. Now, I'm not one to complain about free food ever, but if I see anything that's suspicious in this food, I'm gonna talk to Brad about it later because I don't wanna get uh, any type of form of, uh, what is that, force choked or anything. The sacrifices aren't, I mean, the desserts aren't till later. I'm <laughs> All the you, shit. Bro. Are we There's here? Yeah, we here. Oh, wow. Why is this neighborhood scary? No, no, this is a neighborhood a lot nicer than yours. First sights, Christmas lights are up still on Christmas. Oh, it is Christmas. So if you're watching this, this is a Christmas special. Merry Christmas. Brad, say Merry Christmas to the people. Merry Christmas. We at his family's house. Is that your people? Yeah, that's my brother. With the truck? Yeah. With the 350? With the, the trailer on it? I want to put my foot, uh, key bucket up on top of there so I don't have to do a uh, tow a trailer. But that's his for his little uh, golf cart thing, whatever. You know, those razors, those RZR things. He's got a four-seater turbo razor that sits up there. Wow, his, this man's brother. And that's my other cousin's uh, Tundra, and that's their pilot. He's got a winch. Man. My this is the truck I want, y'all. Ford F-350 Super Duty. I do. Brad knows how much I either want one of these or a square body Chevy. And he's got, man. He's got the whole fucking... Why you come here to tease it? Really? Is your brother that big? Look at this. Stop Santa's here. I got scooters. We got to be PG. All right. This is one. All right. We got to stop. Brother. You really have a brother. I, told I you. do have a brother. How? Big brothers, right? Who's older? He uh, of me. Course. Really? See, the world pressure was on my shoulder. That's why I'm shorter than him. Mm. So, there it is. What is this that? This is the good stuff. This is Lepsa. <coughs> Try it first and tell me what you think. Try this one too. There's two versions of it. Yeah. I'll tell you what it is. <laughs> it tastes like tortillas with sugar on it. You're close. That's it. <laughs> it's it's Norwegian tortillas that are made out of uh, uh, potatoes. They're made out of mashed potatoes. Oh. Rolled out and then it's cooked on a big cooked on a big disc looking iron. And then you put butter and sugar on it. I told him I was expecting some weird shit with raisins in it. Mm. You can do that this time. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> right? He's nice. Where did you See, I'm the nice like a one. Hobby. Then, you, then you get this. Right? He's been a dick all his, his career. Well, it's because he fell on his head too many times as a kid. Oh, that makes sense. Did you push him off the bed? No. He fell off a roof twice, <laughs> so, so the story... Okay, here's the story of... Did I not tell you I fell off the roof in the backyard of that garage? His, the garage where he lives right now, back a long time ago, we were putting a roof on. And we, at the time, had two rentals. We had one that was in downtown Long Beach, and then we had the one where he lives now. And the first rental we did was the one down there, and we're doing the garage roof. And the reason I call him Numb Nuts is when we got to the peak of the roof, he decided instead of sitting below the roof, he'd get up on top of the peak and put the, put the nail between his legs and hit it like this. And we all know where that went. So then about three weeks later, 
we're doing the roof that's his house now and we're stripping the roof off and he was pulling the piece back and he was backing up and backing up and backing up and backing up and he backed right off and fell off the roof. Wow. And then he did the same maneuver, putting the roof on that one and hit himself in the nuts twice. So he was born stupid. Yeah. That's what you're saying. Yeah. This common sense has never been common for you either. Safety third. I can see by the tip of his yeah, finger. That's safety two and nine tenths. Damn. This is the dogs here. Man, man, man. So the last time it was to my house, he robbed my Holly four barrel carburetor for me because he had some other carburetor that wasn't so great. We put a new power steering pad on it with actually a new power steering box. We put a new single wire alternator. And then now currently, he has sitting in the box right here, a battery that's brand new for it that actually matches the paint, an aluminum radiator, a new water pump, and we have to pull it out and get a clutch. So we gotta go see our boys at, um, uh, action clutch action clutch and pick up a clutch for this so everybody if you guys want to know this is a sneaky one that i'll tell you about on gary's little deal now this will be on my channel we're going to be doing a clutch water pump and this and one of my builds is going to be going out and having fun so this is one that's from the past but it's coming back and it's actually a super cool if you guys wouldn't know it but it's a toyota it the says Chevy it, you're, right you're a real, you're a real dingling head for that, you know. Sorry, that was a mm. Can't wait to see this one. This thing's nice. It's fun to drive. It's Brand really new cool. tires. It looks like everything is clean. Like the interior, we just had it done. So this is another funny fact. I gotta dig up. So this is uh, my cousin's storage facility. But if you recognize real closely, oh, that's not Christmas hair. But these are Honda Civic seats that we took the tops off of, had them reupholstered and rebeated. That's a Honda Civic seat. So is this, for me that people like me that don't know, is this the same as a Jeep or what came before? Because That's an it's, argumentative thing that a Jeep actually, I think was established first as this style, but then Australia wanted something similar. So Toyota came with a competitive market and I could be wrong, the internet's gonna eat me for this, but. This was more competitive in Australia, so you see all these over in Australia, and then we took over Jeep, America took Jeep, Australia took Land Cruiser. I prefer Land Cruiser, the bodies are built a lot stronger, everything is like more beefier. It is super fun to drive. The whole dash is electronic, it's got a stereo. It's got my red, white, and blue uh, switches. Red, white, and blue switches, all digital dash. Um, it is carbureted. I do want to do fuel injection when we get it back, but that's argumentative for the owner. Like, I want to smell like gas and I like the way it sounds. And I'm like, well, you're going to lose the smell like gas. It'll still sound the same. And we're going back and forth. We're still carburetor lovers. It doesn't matter. These are all super good. So we'll see this out this year. You'll see this thing done, I promise. Just like all the comments say about my Tacoma. My Tacoma and this truck have to come out together because we have kids and we all go together. And the kids ride back there. They've got seats back there for the kids. There's stereo. Everything but heated seats, which we were just talking about, is probably going to be the key and doors because we do like the wheel in the cold weather and it gets a little bit nippy in here. Is this the factory color? Or is this... Oh, this was painted by somebody else. I mean, they, I do believe they have a green, but I don't think this is the factory color. But it's a cool truck. Let's soak this in real quick. So I took a tour of the garage and this is probably the most Norwegian thing I've ever seen. The kids formed the dogs. This is some high level Scholastics book fair type of joint right here. I'm loving this. The kids are all the shape of a dog. If you look, they caught my eyes of art from the sky. Look at this. I love it. You got to love the dedication to this. Like, I ain't get this kind of shit when I was in elementary school. I'm moving into the, the safe neighborhoods and sending my kids to a school where you can become a dog. There's only one black man at this table, Brad. <laughs> Where you started, Gary? You started this, Becky. Becky. That's a great name. It's okay. Look at all this great food and we got... Brad, I didn't know you were transgender. <laughs> you know, maybe you will be invited back to next year's Christmas dinner. But your family loves me. Now they have a new, a new Canadian. 
<laughs> I heard you're French Canadian. Right? Yeah, apparently. <laughs> he, he is. I, yo, he may not tell you, but I do know how to drive. You know how to drive? I'm five time champion I'm racing. Hold on, Brad, he's won something? <laughs> Your, your, your whole self proclaim is uh, your self named fastest man in Long Beach and it's a five time champion? Of like kitty track. Uh, no, no. He's a champion. You're just a self proclaimed champion. He has medals and act. He may be three times the size of you. Your street cred ends you in prison. How does that feel? <laughs> Fines and cars took in. His culo's about that big. I'm gonna go get some more of this food. I can't look at you anymore, Becky. <laughs> What's up, y'all? Just got back home. I wanna thank Brad and his family for letting us spend Christmas with them. I greatly appreciate that. Thank you for all the wonderful food. And um, it was actually great. It's not that I, I didn't know what I was getting into. It's Brad. It's always some cockamamie stuff, but he never steers me wrong. And your boy even going home with a nice little baggie. Um, Merry Christmas to all y'all, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, whatever y'all celebrate. Thank you for watching, and uh, we got some stuff planned for 2020, so stay tuned, and thank you for the support, and happy holidays.